the Joe Rogan experience. You can imagine if you get your shit together, mm -hmm. you could be talking like Biggie and making everybody look stupid. Right. You know? That shit crazy. One night we was in L.A. and um, it was like we was in Hollywood somewhere and Pac had Biggie with him and we was just on stage rapping and shit and yeah. everybody was freestyling Warren G, Biggie, Pac and myself. And maybe some video footage of that. Let's see if you can find that. Biggie, Snoop, Tupac, Warren G, freestyling in Hollywood. Wow. Yeah, that shit was hard. And we didn't really know cuz at the time. So we was looking at, who was this fat motherfucker rapping? But when, <laughs> when he started rapping, niggas was like, shh. When, that, when them words came out of his mouth, motherfucker stopped looking at what he looked like and was like, shit, he hard as fuck. One of my favorite videos in all of hip hop is Biggie on a corner in Brooklyn when he was 17 years old. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, but see this shit right here? There's people in the crowd. Dad's Tupac BPG. and Biggie on stage. Dad, wow. Corrupt, B-Tip, K-Dub. Do you think when it comes to people who- right there, he wasn't even on Death Row Records. That's, this, uh, this is the crazy part. They go Biggie right there. And what year was this? 93. He wasn't even on Death Row Records. He was just my homeboy that came through to fuck with me and he brought Cuz Woody. See, now Biggie wow. on the mic. They go Warren G right there. Technique. He had an explosive He on the West style. Coast. This is in LA. How good is his style? He rapping over Warren G beat. Give me some volume, Jamie. Uh, missed it. See if you can find that video of him when he was 17 years old on a street corner. That's one of my favorites. Because you see like a dude who's like, you know, just a couple of years removed from being a kid. But see, people don't even know that exists. Right. You just gave him some exclusive shit right there. But it's on YouTube. But they don't know it exists. How many videos? Is Here it is. This is my favorite. Give me some volume on this. He in the battle right here. He's in front of a grocery store, folks. The rhythm, but just the the You imagine being out there and seeing a 17 year old kid rapping like that, you're like, oh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> you bum ass, that was so nigga. good, I need a cigar. <laughs> you ever smoke regular cigars? Nah, I don't fuck with those. They give me hair rush. I gotta have my rush. Imagine someone being that good at 17 years old. Mm-hmm. I know a bunch of cats like that. The video we played before only has 4,000 views on it. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you, Joe. You 4,000 views? You finna make this, and I'm only reason why I'm saying this is because I seen it one night on accident and I only seen a little piece of it, and I was like, damn, I remember that night. That was like some cool shit we had did. You know, Snoop Dogg, young Snoop Dogg before he had long hair. So what is this? This one has 4,600 views. It says, Tupac and Biggie on stage, 1993 rare. Just try to find that on YouTube, and it'll pop up. It has 4,612 views as of today. I bet is, you next uh, time we talk, that motherfucker going to have 400-some <laughs> thousand views. Yeah, it's, this today's is, November look, 11th, This is 93 yeah. when we all cool. Right. We all chilling. Right. We on the West Coast. Tupac brought Biggie with him. We rocking. We let Cud get down with us. We go in the back, smoke, chill, hang out. It's beautiful. When did it go sideways? Once Pac got shot. When he got shot, he felt like they did it, but... And this was when he got shot in New York? Yeah. Before he got shot in Vegas? There you go, right there. Yeah. And, and now... So he felt like someone from the West Coast 
was involved. No. Or from like, the East Coast, yes, rather, excuse me. Yes. And later information came out that the people that he thought did it had nothing to do with it. So by him accusing people of it, it kind of set things off. And then by him being bailed out by Death Row Records and Death Row Records adding more gasoline to the fire and him uh -huh. being a part of the most gangsterous label in the world that his opposition didn't want no issues with. Right. It only egged it on as opposed to let's find a resolution. Now let's keep making it more of a problem. Right. You know, in hindsight, we should have been sitting him down saying, nah, let's not go after him. Let's just make great music. And, yeah. You know, you're on bail right now. He wasn't even out of jail. He was out on bail when he got killed. It's um, it's obviously you're you're dealing with giant cultural influences and and big business too, because the the business of rap is big business, but there's comparisons to that and what's happening with other countries. There really is. Yeah, man, them because was my the friends, people, man. But the you people see that? can all get along. But Joe, did you see yes. that? Yes. You see how pure that was? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. We were all yes. young. I was 22. Yeah. Pac was 22. We was all the same age. So it was like, this is us at 22 years yeah. old, being young MCs, competitive. You see the spirit he was rapping when he was rapping like he was battling the same way he was rapping on the corner. Right. Same spirit. But yeah. that's what hip hop was. Yeah. Like we, in a, we enjoy when somebody could come and hold his own. Yes. But what's really crazy is if that's 1993, that is at the very most a 10 year old art form 15 at the most 15 15 at the most yeah 15 like where, where it really emerges right so within 15 years you have from almost no influence to almost the most influence and depend, like if, depending on what yeah. month that was Either I had just caught the case or I hadn't caught the case. Mm. And the way I'm looking, I don't, it don't look like I caught a case. Wow. Just so you, by the way I'm moving. Fun. Yeah, I'm right. looking at my spirit right. and my body. And right. My, you're not thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, and when I caught the case, all that kind of shit was over with. Right. Watch the entire episode for free only on Spotify.